Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Furlong and this video is a walkthrough through the Modeling Meiosis Worksheet. And so as we go through this, I'm going to kind of walk you through the process. Your results are going to be different from mine and you'll see why in a moment. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is to cut out all of your chromosomes. And you'll notice that some are blue and some are pink. So these are to represent uh, the blue ones coming from dad and the pink ones that came from mom. And you'll put this on a big piece of poster paper with a circle around there. That will represent your so let's focus set. on this poster paper. You can see the uh, cell membrane, and I've already cut out my chromosomes. Uh, now, you're not going to draw this circle in the middle. This is the nucleus. The uh, chromosomes, of course, are found in the nucleus. We see the cell as it is in interphase. Now, when meiosis begins, the nucleus is going to break down. So I'm just going to remove this. That's why you're not going to have a nucleus on your paper. And the DNA forms into chromosomes. So I'm going to arrange these chromosomes by uh, their pairs. And you'll notice on the top of every chromosome it has what number chromosome it is. So in this example we have a total of 10 chromosomes, uh, 5 pairs. The first 4 are what are called the autosomes, and then we have our sex chromosomes. Now this is an X and a Y, so this would be uh, representing of a male cell. The first thing that's going to happen is that each one of these chromosomes is going to make an exact copy of itself. So for instance, you have then another chromosome number one, and it is exactly the same as the previous chromosome number one. You'll see also see a, a paper clip. The paper clip is going to represent the centromere. So this is where we're going to clip the two chromosomes together to make the one larger chromosome. And we'll do it like this. So there's our X-shaped chromosome right now. Repeat this with every other chromosome pair. All right, so we finished replication, and at this point, Although scientists would still say you have 10 chromosomes, what we really know is that there's 20 chromosomes here. It's just that the two replicated chromosomes are still attached together. Now something strange happens in the very first stage of meiosis called prophase 1. Something called crossing over. This is where parts of dad's chromosome and parts of mom's chromosome switch places. And it's totally by chance as to where they will cross over. So we're going to use the die, the, the, just, which is singular for dice. Uh, we're going to roll the dice and that's going to tell us how many of these squares we're going to cut off and exchange with the other chromosome. Now what you'll notice is that of course the dice goes uh, all the way up to six but sometimes like in this case one two three four five there's only five blocks so if I roll a six I'm gonna have to re-roll again until I only have five or less oh, so I rolled a five so using your scissors you're gonna cut the first five blocks off of mom's chromosome and the first five blocks off of dad's chromosome and they're going to switch places so now I'm going to tape these two chromosomes together okay. now the same thing is going to happen with the uh, other Pair that's still there. Uh, except I'm going to do it from the bottom this time. So I'm going to roll another five. So I'm going to count 
one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to cut it off there. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five. And I am going to tape it together. Now if I were to take these apart real quick, what you're going to see is that each chromosome now is a mixture of mom and dad genes. Right, so let's repeat this with every other chromosome pair. So I finished and I want you to notice that I did not do the sex chromosomes. Why? Because these are not homologous with one another and so they're not going to switch chromosomes. Once you have shown prophase 1, it's going to go through the rest of meiosis where of course you know these are all going to, uh, these chromosome number 2's are going to get together. So the, the homologous pairs will separate to either side of the cell. So now we're seeing basically the uh, end of meiosis 1. This is telophase 1. Uh, of course, we would now have two cells here. To represent that, I'm just going to put a line right down the center of this cell. And so we can just pretend like there's two separate cells here. Now it's going to undergo meiosis 2. And again, I don't want, we don't need to show all of that, but we do want to see that each one of these two cells are going to split again into two cells. So you'll see that the end result is going to be four cells. However, each one of these chromosomes will separate as well. So I'm going to have a chromosome number one in each cell, a chromosome number two in each cell, a chromosome number three in each cell, a four in each cell, and in this case we have a sex chromosome which will be the Y. Right, and it's just by chance as to which one you put them in and I'll do the same thing on this side. And again, it's totally by chance as to which ones go into which one. Now, if I take a look at all four of these cells, are they all four exactly the same? No. In fact, all of them are different from one another. Look, this chromosome number one is not the same as that chromosome number one. It's not the same as that one. It's not the same as that one. All, right, all four of these cells are different. And notice, uh, when we're passing on our traits, when we say half of our genes are from mom and half of our genes are from dad, well, let's take a look at this. Uh, about half of the genes, let's say if this cell becomes the sperm cell, because this is a male, these are the chromosomes and the genes that are going to be in the offspring. And it's about half from mom, half from dad. Now, it's not exact, but when you're talking about a human and you're talking about 23 pairs of chromosomes, you roughly get about half of your genes from mom, half from dad. So you're going to be taking pictures along the way, upload those into classroom, and that's all there really is to it.